Oh, man. Mm. I have to stop eating all this peanut butter. It's so good. Mm. Grumpy. Mm. Mm. Uh, Grumpy, put the peanut butter down. Put the peanut no, butter down. I, I, no, I, put, put the peanut butter, butter down. 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 Randomly. Details at 11. This is the news mm. at 11. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love that. It, I love that it just cuts to time slipping. More detail. Mm, more detail. More details. Oh, Here's the news at eleven. <laughs> did you see the? Um, uh, go back. I wanted that bachelor chow. Did you see the Thompson's teeth advertisement? I did. <laughs> so a, that Thompson's is one of my. Teeth. Yeah, that's one of my favorite gags. Uh, one of my favorite gags of the game is doing the um, is the different loading screens. Uh, also, I speed this up because I, as you can see, I'm just adding extra lives to be safe. Uh, because this game, like, this game is honestly like way too fucking hard for its own. I see you've gotten by my feeble-minded brothers, which is good because now I get to kill you. Oh no! I can't be killed. My doctor said so. I can't be killed. Bad for my, my doctor. <laughs> yeah, my doctor said I'm allergic to death. I like this fight though. It's, it's actually kind of unique. Boom. I mean, it's annoying, but basically, you have to shoot the shield with one turret. And run to the other side of the stage and use the other turret to actually damage the tank. But you have to do that in time. Or yeah, else that is fine. That's a good question. Who thought this was a good idea? I want names. You know, in an earlier part, we, I, I talked about I would love to see. I'd love to see a company remake this game. That's something that I would love to see changed, is make a Futurama game that co-op, where, depending on which stage you're in, you have one of two characters. It's similar to, like, a Traveler's Tale, uh, yeah, Traveler's Tale, um, Lego game, and being able to, like, switch between a switch between one of the Furama characters. So like in this stage mm. you in this stage you have um yeah you would have I mean you're only playing as Bender in this game in the game, but say you have Bender and Fry having to shut down the shield shut down the um suck beam. Uh their was not ours. Um so you have Bender on one turret and Fry on the other and you swap and make it slightly easier. Seriously, this game is this game is honestly like ten times better than it should be. It's the only thing that drives me nuts the most about it because the game itself isn't a isn't bad. I'd say six point five out of ten. It's almost a seven. Mm. It, it's almost a 7, and the reason why it's not a 7 is m mostly comes down to the platforming. Because game is just way too annoying for its own good. Mm. Um, but... You haven't seen the last of me, unless you die before I see you again, in which case you have... In which case you uh... have. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I love that line. Well, and, and that for me is one of the reasons why why that I put this game so I put this game as high as I do because at least the writing really helps the game much more. Um, the writing helps the game a lot, and it makes and, and it's one of the reasons why it makes it much more makes you much more willing to progress in the game despite constantly dying and getting games game over you want to progress because you want to hear what the characters have to say or hear um or see next cuts because it it's not a bad game it's not like it's not 
like Garfield, where I enjoy that game, but it's just mediocre. This is a genuinely good game, just has a lot... It It's a game that's aged, I guess, is, is the best way to, to say it. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. That's the entire reason why Bender was even doing this in the first place. Good work, Bender. You saved us from Mom's evil arthritic clutches. Yeah, good. arthritic clutches. Good, good, good. good, good. So what now, <laughs> Professor? Are you going to invent something that saves the day? That's what you usually do. Alas, I'm not that skilled an inventor, but I know someone who is my mentor and former graduate advisor, Adoy. Adoy. He's here <laughs> on the planet Bogai. <laughs> But that's in the furthest corner of the universe. And we don't even have enough dark matter fuel to get out of the solar system. Then I guess you'll have to find some, Leela. Me? But I'm not playable. You are now. <laughs> Woohoo! In your face, non-playable characters. <laughs> I love that line so much. In your yeah. face, non-playable characters. The jig is up. Not heads, but we just got away from you. Hmm. I probably should have disabled her ship or something when I was down on that asteroid. Well, live and learn. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> I've come for the That's a good point. He probably should have. Matter engine. Well, you're out of luck. The only blueprints are here in my head. Oh, fine. Then we'll take that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, no. The uh -oh. worst part is the phantom hemorrhoids. Avenge my decapitation! <laughs> Avenge my decapitation! I just love the line, Avenge my decapitation. Now to get rid of the rest of those Planet Express jerk butts, once and for all. Alright, everything worked out fine. Oh no! We're heading straight into the sun! We're heading into the sun! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that reaction is fucking beautiful. Not my best landing. Is everyone alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Fortunately, I landed on something soft. <laughs> A pork rock. I'm fine, too. No thanks to our chubby robot friend. At least the ship is <laughs> operational. We should be able to get out of here. Uh, I, I am wondering, Unless did you ever see the, like, see the cutscenes of this game? Are. Or is, or, or is uh, this commentary... No. So, so this commentary is the first time you've, you've experienced this. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, check it out. Be careful, Fry. You're not supposed to look directly at the sun. Greetings, <laughs> you aliens from other planet. What? Oh, okay, fine, I got you. Uh, take us to your leader. <laughs> I am Rara, the Sun King. Normally that make me leader, but we have little coup d'etat recently. Was it godless communist? Was it godless communist? Oh, it was God. Mighty, mighty sun <laughs> No, God. it was God. Apparently him developed a flesh <laughs> of own worshippers. Sun people so afraid, they not even set foot on own sun porches. Big whoop. Everyone's afraid of some <laughs> god or another. Actually, we more afraid of army of undead warriors sun god create from bones of victims. Oh, those will get you all right. Perhaps <laughs> if you those will get you all right. Brazil, <laughs> you can defend yeah, that makes god sense. And save sun people. <laughs> Gee, I really care about your lame people and your crummy temple, but we're going to have to pass. You'll be handsomely rewarded. I'm in! So, Kimosabi, you got That's any dark right. matter? It's our chief export. Then you've got yourself a deal. Hey, where are you two going? Sorry, Leela. I'd love to help you save the sun, but I'd burn easily. 
and I melt easily. But save me my shit with a reward. Hey, at least they're nice enough to leave the toaster with her. Madam Big Toaster. Madam Big Toaster. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> that Big Toaster. Made with 10% more love than the next leading brand. Mmm. I always say, never send a man to do a man's job. <laughs> but I love the line. We had a little coup d'etat recently. Take all the comments. No, actually, it was God. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the, the writing is, I've mentioned, I've mentioned it way too many times, but the, the writing in this game is just peak future on. It is funny. Oh, yeah. Which I don't, uh, it makes me even happier that, oh, wait, I'm basically sorry, All right, fuck it, I'm going to record this game. Uh, also... So I tried to zoom in and see what Leela's um, Leela's healing item is. It it's actually vitamins, like it's a fucking container of vitamins, which is frankly just kind of lame. Okay, no, no, that's fine. The fucking exploding skeleton. Here comes more skeletons. So apparently there. So I didn't get a chance to show off the Easter eggs, and it really saddens me. But some of the Easter eggs, one of the Easter eggs is actually in Leela's area. I think it's the next level of Leela's section, but you can play, like, there's an, there is a Mario-themed Easter egg that will grow Leela to twice her size, and every time she attacks, she's just hit with a fireball randomly. Mm. Yeah. I'm also sad because I didn't know I didn't know of the Easter eggs in this game. One of them is a um, back in Fry section, he's going through old New York. More specifically like the well not old New York, but um when he's going through the sleazy part of New York with, uh, with like the peep shows and such. Um yeah. You can actually find a developer room that has the heads of developers Daddy. similar, like, in a design to the Futurama heads in a jar. Uh, not all of them are there, but they have, like, all of the, they have places for all of the developers, and they just design them in the in a Futurama design, and it's real nice. And I, re I really oh, wish I happened. knew of that, because I would have um, I would have tried to record that. Let's like, show off that Easter egg. And then I looked up how to do the Easter egg, and I thought, mm, eh, mm. that is not, like, fun. Uh -huh. Because, yeah, the Easter eggs... The Easter eggs that this game have are pretty cool. It's just also kind of a really wish they were easier to access. Because I'm just wondering mm. how... I, I'm wondering how 
you were supposed to be able to figure out a lot of these Easter eggs. Because one of them, um, the literal Easter egg in the Planet Express, in the Planet Express building, the first level of the game, Sorry, that I'm took 16 fight. years for people to find. And the only reason that people even knew that Easter egg existed in the first place is because someone was playing to drop them on a crappy emulator and clip through the um, and the Easter egg itself kind of clipped through the clipped through um, the wall. So people just kept looking for how to access it and finally figured it, finally figured out how to do it and the ways to do it is just annoying. Because mm. have you ever seen a lot of those playground rumors where it's like, okay, you gotta have to do all of these convoluted things that you would never think of doing to unlock this? That's how you get most of the Easter eggs in this game. And it's just... It, it's just annoying. Uh, to be fair, the Leela... Ow. Uh, Leela's mm, Easter egg... Or the Easter egg in e Leela's level is... Um... I also feel dumb because I don't realize you're, gonna, you're supposed to roll under these. Mm. Um, but yeah, the, the Easter egg in Leela's area is actually... Um, one of the easier ones because all you have to do is just break wall. To know which wall to break, but it's probably the easiest one to uh, to access. Oh, damn it. So um, there's an Easter egg in Bender section. I think it was the mine level right before you have to walk on the conveyor belt. But, um, you can actually see, like, a monkey as high rider. If you wait, if you wait, <laughs> if you wait in that area right before the, um, if you wait in the area right before the conveyor belts and the crusher section, um, randomly you'll just have, like, a, um, You'll just see, like, a monkey at a typewriter. Well, and I say you'll see a monkey at a typewriter. You'll see, like, the silhouette of a monkey at a typewriter. Still funny. Mm. Uh, anyway, we're getting close to the end of the part, so we will see you guys next time. See ya.